Hey everyone, welcome. Welcome to the channel. So lovely to have you here on Rainbow Tower UK joining me for another pick a card reading. So we are going to be doing today what is going on for you in July in your love life. So it's July 2024 predictions and we have our three piles as usual. We have pile number one which is the acorn card and this fluorite, beautiful fluorite stone here. Okay and then we have pile number two which is the card that says 13 with the blue lace agate. And then we have pile number three, which is the lotus flower with the beautiful rose quartz. So there you go, those are your three piles. Go for the pile that feels right, the one that's calling to you. Uh, that's got your messages, if there's more than one pile, absolutely fine. But otherwise, I'll see you very soon in your reading. Bye for now. Hey, pile number one, welcome back to your reading. So today we're doing, aren't we, what is going to be happening for you in your love life in July 2024? So you chose to come into the reading under the card that is the acorn here. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm just going to put that there so we can see it. Um, and also I've pre-shuffled a couple of other oracle cards, but you also chose to come into the reading under the fluorite stone here. So I'm going to put the fluorite stone there just there so that we can see it in the reading and I've pre-shuffled two other cards so let's take a look at those so you have got earth card number 26 earth and you have got the rune of Lagoos. okay interesting let's get another card out just to say it's a general reading just to remind you it is a general reading so please just take the messages that resonate that feel right for you if they don't feel right for you, then maybe they are for somebody else that's listening. Um, or if the whole reading is a little bit off, I hope that's not the case, but if it is, you might want to look at one of the other piles if you felt drawn to them, or just one of my other readings. I've literally got tons of romance readings on my channel. The other thing to say as well is just to say to you, I have started doing shorts. So if you fancy something a little bit other than um, romance readings, my shorts are, you know, um, different topics. So you might want to check those out as well. But in this reading, let's get straight to it for pile number one. What is going to be happening for pile number one in July 2024 in their love life, please? Let's see what we've got. Well, that one seems to want to come out, so I'm going to take that one. We have got the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so, all right, let's see now. From this, what I'm feeling really is a couple of things, really. I feel like for some of you in July 2024, because you've got the acorn and you've got the earth energy. Earth is about kind of building, really. It's an energy of building. Um, and because you've got the acorn, which is a seed, and from a seed, something wonderful can grow, you know, in the earth. So I'm feeling like you might be creating the foundations for all of you singles out there, perhaps you're creating the foundations for something long term. Um, because the acorn, when you plant it, grows into an oak tree. And an oak tree lasts for hundreds of years. So I'm feeling like for many of you, it's the start, it's the beginning of something um, that has a lot of potential, that has a huge amount of potential. Um, and there's going to be a, 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 a great partnership here because you've got Three of Pentacles, and Three of Pentacles is about collaboration and it's also going to intuitively feel right because a goose is uh, kind of like an intuitive um, rune it's like going with the flow it has depths to it it's surrounded by water it's the seahorse so I'm just feeling that intuitively you're going to begin something or this or even if you're not going to begin something you're going to begin a new cycle maybe that's going to lead to stability security and intuitively it's going to feel right so that's kind of what i'm picking up there as well but another another way of reading this is that somehow because lagoose is also about really just kind of going with the flow and maybe releasing what has um, not served you maybe in the past or what has not gone on well for you in the past and creating something new, having a new phase, having a new start. So it could be that for some of you, you're releasing old stuff, maybe old baggage, old patterns, old dynamics that maybe weren't right for you, which could involve people or it could just be the way in which you are in relationships and you're becoming more collaborative. Um, you're becoming maybe more picky and choosy about who you share your 
time with, who you share your ideas with, who you share your passions with. Um, and it's going to be like a new phase for you, a new start, a new beginning. Uh, if you're in an existing relationship, maybe that's going to become more collaborative, more, um, yeah, it's going to feel like a new cycle for you and them. So that's just some of the initial things that I'm picking up for you in pile number one. And also just to say that the earth energies of Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo might mean something to you. But let's get some more cards out. Let's see what we've got here. Let's have another, let's have another Oracle card here. So what is going to happen... For pile number one, in their love life, in the month of July, please. July 2024, what's going to be happening for pile number one? Let's see. So we have here, which is expect powerful change. Fantastic. New moon eclipse. Yeah, there's some sort of change with the acorn here. Some sort of big start in something or some big energy that is happening for you in July. Let us get out another one. Let's get out, actually, let's get out the tarot. Let's see, let's start with the tarot as well. What is going to be happening for pile number one in their love life in July, please? What is going to be happening for them in their love life in uh, July, please? So we've got the Nine of Pentacles. We've got the Empress. All right, we have got the three, or oh, sorry, the ten of wands. Let's move that over a little bit. We've got room for one more. Um, and we've got the four of cups. Yeah, I definitely feel that for some of you, um, you might be releasing something in July. What's at the bottom of the deck? We have the Four of Wands, yeah. So for some of you, you might be releasing something with the Ten of Wands here, walking away from something that just is no longer working for you. Let's see if I can move these over so we've got a little bit more room here. It's no longer working for you, and you're going to get up and walk out of it because it's making you feel dissatisfied, uh, not happy with the situation. And you are ready here to create something different and that's what i mean with the acorn and the earth it's something else you're ready to plant something else um and for some of you you might always with the four of wands here you might already know what you're going to plant you might already have your eye on someone else or something else that's going to make you feel much happier with the four of wands so i get in the month of july even if you are releasing it's not going to be you're not going to feel unhappy about that you're going to feel very happy about that you're going to be releasing any any sort of tension or negativity or where, where, where maybe somebody didn't appreciate you or didn't know you know didn't recognize your worth then you are going to be releasing that and in july you're going to be understanding your worth with the empress here you're going to acknowledge to yourself your worth what you are worth and you're going to want to create something very very special and i feel like for some of you you might already have your eye on that um and you are going to be still you're going to be choosing with this nine of pentacles here this this woman maybe out of a lot of other options is choosing something that is going to make her feel happier certainly so it's going to be an, and that's going to be a big change for you some of you you know might feel that there's someone else around you another option around you that feels like maybe it's a soulful connection with the lagoons here that feels like it's an intuitive connection maybe a twin flame soulmate type connection and it's going to feel that that is, that that is the connection that you want to be in. That's one way of looking at it. But if you're in a relationship and you're not looking for something new, um, I, what I would say here is that, that in July, there's going to be a release of tensions, of difficulties, of disappointment, of dissatisfaction. And there's going to be a revival of energy around creating something better around being um, having a wish fulfillment. So the Nine of Pentacles can be like a wish fulfillment, a bit like the Nine of Cups. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of guessing that in the, some, something about the connection, there is a release about it and there's going to be a massive change for the better. It's going to be more, um, yeah, just more, yeah, again, more collaborative, more nurturing, more uh, full of growth and love and, um, and I feel like you're going to be appreciated. You're going to be, yeah, you're going to be appreciated and you are going to be loved a lot more in July. But it's got something to do with about you, um, 
maybe bringing in drawing in the boundaries and also sort of making someone aware that you expect what you expect you expect to be treated well you expect to be um, shown respect you expect to be shown love and within that um, you are saying you need to kind of up your game with you with somebody that's not really recognizing that or appreciating that you need to up your game and you know value me and within and as you sort of like value yourself more within that then that person begins to realize that they too need to value you that's kind of what i'm seeing here but let us let's see what else we've got let's have another one of these cards and what is going on so there's change there's big change going on for you i think what is going on for part number one in their love life in july please what is going on for part number one in their love life in july July 2024. I feel like that one wants to come out. So let's see what this one is. What is going on for them? We have, oh, what, look at that healing chaos. Again, big energy. Something big is happening and it's going to be for the better with the healing chaos here. So it may feel, particularly if you're leaving something or releasing something, it may feel a bit chaotic. It may feel scary. But with all the butterflies, it's the right kind of transformation for you, for sure. Uh, there's something here that's going on that is going to be the right thing for you. But it might feel a little bit uncomfortable, but it's something that needs to happen. So in terms of what we've got in terms of zodiac signs, we've got Taurus, we've got um, Sagittarius, we have got um, Cancer, uh, we have got Virgo energy, and we have got um, Aries energy. Yeah, so big, big, powerful energy, something big happening here. Let's go and see what we've got here. Let's have another little one of these guys. What is happening for pile number one in their love life in July? What is happening for pile number one in their love life in July? I feel like it's this one. So this is you are healing. So maybe there's something for some of you where you, when you leave this situation, it's a time to heal, to grow, to look after yourself. Maybe to look back on the good times, but to move forward, to move forward um in a more with all the bees here in a more productive way you know to so release something that isn't serving you as i said before or isn't right for you anymore and move forward in a more productive way because you are healing yourself there's something about that or maybe this connection if it's a connection that you're in um, it's going to be healing it's going to start to heal it's going to start to get better it's going to start to um yeah, be more collaborative, be more creative, be more nurturing, maybe. Maybe it's going to level up, the connection is going to level up in some way. There might be a little bit of discomfort in that, but it's a healing process and it has to happen. Let's go through, let's see what else we've got. What is going to happen for Paul? Number one, in their love life in July, please. What is going to happen for Paul? Number one, in their love life in July, please. So we have the Four of Pentacles. We have the World card, we have the Queen of Pentacles, and we have the Ace of Swords. Yeah, there's definitely some sort of new start here, and the Nine of Pentacles again. So for some of you in that new start, um, it may mean that you're on your own for a little bit, or you are enjoying or reveling being on your own um, for a little while. The Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, you are feeling stronger in that sense. You are looking after yourself. There's a lot of emphasis here on nurturing yourself, looking after yourself, letting all the troubles and the difficulties just move away, just move aside like this, which is letting this hat go. And the world is about um, the ending of a cycle. So I'm feeling like for many of you, it might be the ending of a cycle. Um, you might have your eye on someone or you might have your eye on an ideal of what you want. But for now, it's a time where you are just relishing your own company. You are letting go of this need to hold on to something which maybe wasn't quite right for you. Or if you're in that situation, you're in a, you're in a um, connection, you are letting go of anything that was kind of restricting or restraining the connection. You are letting go of anything that was kind of like because this person is sitting in this prison cell, you are letting go of anything that was making you feel or the making the connection feel constrained. Um, yeah, not, you know, not much light, not much um, hope. You're letting go of all of that, all that negativity, you're releasing it, like this, which is releasing this hat and moving in to a better cycle. And I feel like if it's with, if it's a connection that you're in, it's because you are communicating better because you've got the three 
um, of Pentacles is respect, collaboration, and you've got the Ace of Swords. So it's because of bold communication. So maybe this month there's a good heart to heart. We are talking about you're talking about what's going on. Maybe within that you are saying, look, this is a make or break between me and you. And if you don't uh, level up, or if you don't show me or give me what I want, if you don't um, nurture this connection, if you don't nurture me, then I've got I've got no um qualms about leaving this connection and just going it alone because i know that i can survive i know that i can do more than survive i can actually thrive in my own company so in this month you are with someone if you're with someone you're sort of letting them know that they need to step up to the plate and if they don't step up to the plate then you're more than happy to release something if it is not nurturing you if it is not valuing you so this month is really about you recognizing what you are worth and not putting up with anything that does not value that either in the form of letting it go or um saying to your partner i'm not afraid to let this go um, I'm not afraid to, to walk away from this situation because I know I can thrive um, and I want to be happy. Most of all, I want to be happy. So we need to work through honest communication on healing whatever is wrong in this situation and moving forward positively, reaching our potential. Otherwise, I you know don't see what, how I should or why I should stay in this connection. So you're really, you really, really valuing yourself in July. So good on you, pile number one. Um, but it could also mean that you let something go and you are on your own for a short period of time but with a view or an eye on something else or how you can manifest something else and like I say for some of you you might already have your eye on a situation or somebody else or something else which you want to move towards really which is more some, someone or something that is more in touch with who you really are and where you can be yourself maybe someone who you feel is going to value you more you are not taking any, um, you know, you're not taking any rubbish this month. You are recognising your value. So we have got uh, Taurus energy again. We have got all of the air signs of um, uh, Libra, Aquarius and Gemini. We've got Virgo energy and we have got Aries energy. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of groundedness in this. I feel like with you, you're just not taking that says to me that you're not taking any nonsense this month you're not putting up with anything that yeah that does not does not view you as someone as a, as a treasure you're not putting up with anyone who doesn't view you as a treasure you've got no qualms about letting something go if it does not value you it doesn't see your true worth see your value because you know that there is something out there or someone out there that that can do that uh, and that will do that and this person that you're with if you're still with them it has to has to you know, you have to have a good conversation with them and they have to say, yes, I'm willing to step up to the plate. Otherwise, you you, you will leave, really. Uh, that's kind of what I'm feeling. So it's a very, so that's what I mean. There's a, there's a, there's a powerful change within you uh, for something new, for something, either something new in the sense of a new relationship or something new in the sense of a new cycle in this connection. So let's get out one of these. Now, I'm going to take out one of these, actually, these are my little um, sort of affirmations or sayings. We're going to take one and we're going to take uh, two. What are they? So this one says, go forth and trust the journey you're on. Exactly. Go forth and trust the journey you're on. And this one says, work hard in silence and let success be your noise. Okay. Let's leave those there. Let's get some... Uh, message cards out for pile number one please what is going to be happening for them in july 2024 what is going to be happening for them soulmate yes this is your soulmate okay so you may already be with your soulmate and it's about you and them evolving leveling up moving up and that comes through honest bold communication and valuing uh, them valuing you and maybe you valuing each other what else have we got? You deserve love. You are lovable. I feel like that's really going on for you in July. You know, you're recognising that you are lovable. You've got a lot to offer. That you are amazing. And that the person you're with, you know, needs to recognise that. You know, that you are a patch. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So again, I did say that. That it might be a release for some of you this month. There might be a release. 
love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive again i feel like within this month is definitely about you um realizing your own worth and value but anyway part number one that's been your reading i hope you've liked it if you have please do consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you never miss an upload but otherwise i'll see you in the next reading bye for now Hey, pile number two, welcome, welcome to your reading. So today we're doing, aren't we, you know, what are your July predictions, your love life predictions, what's going to be happening in your love life in July 2024? And so you chose to come into the reading as the number 13 card here with all these eyes on here. I can see all these eyes here. Okay. Plus the beautiful blue lace agate here. So there you go. I'm going to put that there on our dish so that we can see it. So there we go. And I've pre-shuffled a couple of other oracle cards just for the general energy. So let's take a look at those. Um, so we have, oh, Faya, beautiful, card number 23. And we have the Rune of Tiwaz with the Eagle. Right, okay. Uh, just to remind you as well, it's a general reading before I get any other cards. It's general reading, so just take the messages that resonate that feel right if a message doesn't resonate maybe it's for somebody else that's watching um and also just to say you know if the whole reading feels a little bit off and you i hope that's not the case but if it is perhaps you want to listen to another pile if you feel drawn to it or look at my channel which has tons of readings and they're all organized into playlists and what i would say as well is that i've just started doing some shorts so if you fancy um non-love readings at the moment my shorts topics are not necessarily love related um, so if you feel like you want something different, then please check out all my shorts. So let us ask, I'm just going to do one more oracle card here. What is going on uh, for pile number two in July in their love life? What's happening for them in July in their love life? Well, that one's definitely coming out. Let's see what that one is. So this one is, let's have a look here. So this one is actually the Eight of Wands. Do you know what? I, I feel, well, first of all, I feel like it's there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of fire and passion and chemistry going on in July for many of you in your love life. Also, the fire signs of um, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius might mean something to some of you. I feel like for many of you, someone's got their eye on you and it might be someone from the past here with the number 13 because 13 has reminded me of card of death and transformation. So it might have been something that was from the past or something that died out and this person is still very much interested in you so perhaps there's a revival or something like that of a past connection in the month of july the only the other thing as well that's making me think of that is because with tiwaz the eagle is one of those um birds that you know can can see um can home in on something from a very uh distant from a huge distance away so i feel like and also this eagle is carrying a sword which is reminding me of communication swords is all about thoughts and communication so i feel like maybe somehow you might be getting a message from someone from the past um who maybe wants to connect with you again or reconcile with you or something like that i mean it could be quite quickly with the eight of wands here because the eight of wands is speed or it could be from somebody that's you know not geographically that close with the eagle as well because the eight of wands can indicate travel as well so maybe it's somebody from afar or maybe you're just getting a message from someone from another country or another state or somebody that's not that's close to you um that's maybe got their eye on you in some way um but there's definitely a lot of attraction and passion and chemistry here um, but also the 13 which is your main card is a number of change and transformation so let's see how that plays out for you in july so it feels like an exciting time but let's get our um do you want, yeah let's get out some tarot first of all. So let's see actually no let's get out one more oracle card so let's see what is going on for pile number two in their love life in july please what is actually happening for them in july 2024 what is going on for pile number two what is this a personal issue reaches resolution for moon in cancer so cancer might mean something to some of you um four moons are all about results so uh, maybe there's some sort of result that's happening for you in july something that's gone on with you and your person where you're going to reach some some kind of resolution within that but let us some sort of result that's going to be happening in july uh for you but let's get out the tarot now come on let's see what we've got going on here so what is going on in pearl number two's love life in july please what's actually going on for them in july 
So I feel like those two are coming up. Oh, the Eight of Wands again. So something's definitely happening quickly here. And it could be that it's something to, for many of you, something with, with overseas or that involves somebody using some sort of transport mode or something to get towards you. And they're very focused here, very focused on it. We've got the Queen of Pentacles looking very relaxed. So what is going on for Pile? The Seven of Pentacles. What's going on for part number two in their lovely flag, please, in July? What is going on in July? Um, and then we have the Hierophant. Okay. And then we've got the Sun. Ooh, I think July is going to be a very great month for you, actually. Somebody here in your love life, or, you know, it wants to grow something with the Seven of Pentacles here. They want to nurture something here. So I feel like if you are with somebody, they are wanting to grow this connection because they really, really find you very, very attractive. They're going to find you very attractive. Uh, and you also are going to be somebody that they want to grow with a view to commitment because the Hierophant here is commitment. So, and they want to do it, um, I feel like they want to come forwards towards you. So maybe... For many of you, this is like a revival of something or a reconciliation or something from the past or somebody wanting to start something with you um, and, and put all their energy into that with the Eight of Wands because they see how valuable you are, they see how attractive you are. I mean, look at this Queen of Pentacles. She's probably one of my favourite Queen of Pentacles because she just looks so... <laughs> she just looks... I mean, that green eyeshadow is fantastic for starters, isn't it? I mean, she just looks amazing, doesn't she? She's very, very beautiful and um, so attractive and so relaxed. So I think this person, you know, in, in July, you are just going to be looking fantastic to whoever it is that, that you're with or that wants to come towards you. They're just going to see you as somebody who's so, so beautiful, a very calm very relaxed, very centered. The Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's kind of like lives in the you know lives in her dreams really because she she's made it really for herself. She's made a wonderful world for herself. Somebody who's really really together. So I feel like this person is really going to see you as somebody who's you know got worth, got value, and they really want to grow and nurture something with you with a view to it being committed and it might be for some of you as well that if you're with someone this person is going to want to level up this connection is going to want to make it better it's going to want to really nurture it and grow it and move it into something much more stable and solid if that isn't the situation so it could be that maybe with the person at which you reach his resolution you know that you are now coming to the point where you're going to make this situation more concrete more stable um, but there is a huge amount of passion here with the eight of wands twice i feel like there's a lot of chemistry and attraction and also you've got the sun card which is just a beautiful warm energy it's so happy and it's so positive so i feel like your love life is going to be so so positive in the month of july and you are going to be seen as a huge catch and somebody might actually be coming towards you very very quickly and wanting to grow the connection with you wanting to nurture the connection wanting to love the connection uh, certainly, and there's somebody's got it. I feel like for many of you, someone's got their eye on you for sure. So, we have got uh, with the eight of wands coming up twice actually. That is, um, in fact, a Sagittarius energy. Queen of Pentacles is always Taurus for me. Uh, Seven of Pentacles that is um, Taurus again. So, we've got a strong Taurian energy, and I feel like Taurus is all about you know, beauty, um, is about self care is about um, sensuality. Um, so I feel like this person is really, really finds you very, very, very appealing in that respect. And also you've got the Hierophant is Taurus. So we've got Taurian energy, very strong Taurian energy. And of course, Taurus is all about stability. It's about security. It's about stability. Um, so I would say that in, in um, July, you're going to be building a stable connection with someone, a committed stable connection with someone. And it could be for many of you, someone that's, where well, it's a reconciliation or a someone from the past coming in here, for sure. Okay, so let's get out uh, another Oracle card here. So what is going on for pile number two in their love life in July? What is happening for part number two in their love life in July 2024, please? Let's see what this one is. We have got 
or miracles. Yeah, this might seem, and with a double rainbow here, I'm just getting that feeling of that strong kind of connection, you know, like a strong, um, a strong um, spiritual type of connection, really. And it may feel like it's a miracle. Maybe you just, maybe it comes out of nowhere and you're thinking, how on earth does this happen? But it just feels like a miracle. It's so wonderful. And with the rainbow, it's just such, obviously, um, you know, this is Rainbow Tower UK. <laughs> so I love rainbows. So, you know, rainbow has all the promise of, you know, a pot of gold at the end of it, something fantastic. And it comes right under a personal issue reaches resolution, you know, like a strong, positive resolution. Um, so if you've been in separation from somebody or if it's some sort of past connection that you want to come back or if, you know, um, something miraculous is going to happen in July for you. But let us get out uh, some more tarot here. So what is going to... Actually, let me have one of these ones. Let me have one of these ones. What is going to be happening for pile number two in July in their love life, please? What is going on for them in their love life in July? Let's have a look and see what we've got here. So we've got accept compliments. Oh, so yeah, a lot of admiration. A lot of admiration here. Somebody really admires you. Somebody thinks that you are fantastic. Somebody thinks you look amazing with all this Taurus energy here. Um, so maybe July is about reveling in somebody's admiration for you. Uh, there we go. All right, let's have a look and get out some more tarot here. It's looking good. So let's see what is going on for pile number two in July in their love life, please. What is going on for them in their love life? In July for pile number two, we have got... Oh, look at me. Oh, my God. Pile number two, you have the Ten of Cups. It couldn't get any better. The Ten of Cups, amazing. What is going to be happening for pile number two in their love life in July? We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Seven of Cups. And we have the Ace of Cups, for sure. And we have the Empress. Now, the Empress actually came out twice in power number one, so if you felt drawn to that, you might want to listen to it. I think the Ten of Swords is like the end of um, a really tough cycle or a really difficult cycle. And it's also, the Ten of Swords is actually, and it goes with the 13 really well, because something that maybe looked like it was dead in the water or looked like it was it was um over and that's why i think there's a strong element in this um pile of reconciliation of um going back to something from the past or being with somebody from the past because the ten of swords looks like you know they've got ten swords in their back and it's over but it isn't because with the ten of swords it's always the horizon, something, the sun coming up for a new beginning. And tens cancel down to one. So for sure, this is a new beginning full of fire and passion here. Look, this witch is just reading, reaching for her broomstick, which is going to give her the magical power, the miraculous power to rise. So I feel like this situation is going to rise for you. You're going to be in a situation where you're going to rise. Something's going to rise. And with the ten of cups, that is... Um, it could be through communicating as well, because the eight of ones can be communication. And because you've got the eagle carrying a sword, which is about, it's like, it's like a message, because birds used to be sent, didn't they, with messages. I feel like it might start with a message, some kind of communication, saying that they want to they want to get back with you, they want to be with you, that you are their happiness. Because the Ten of Cups is like the ultimate happiness, the ultimate emotional happiness and stability. So I feel like this person wants to be with you, they see you as their future, they want a strong connection with you. They may even, with the Empress here and the family scene that we can see here if you don't have a family with them already they may even be saying I want commitment with you I want the Hierophant and the Queen of Pentacles I want commitment with you I want stability I want us to have a family together I want us or I want us to merge our families or I want us to um, you know enjoy all of the generations of the family of friends or whatever for us to be recognized within our groups if you know what i mean so we are going to be open and committed in our groups everybody's going to know about our commitment our connection that's what i want i have stopped um i think that might be something about i've stopped 
for some of you with some of your people that you're thinking of in the past I've stopped thinking the grass is greener I've stopped thinking that um, I've got lots of choices and options I've stopped uh, and I'm just going to choose you so this play this witch is just going for this one cup out of all these many choices and it's the cup with the two hearts in it so it's making me feel this this person is coming back towards you as kind of sorted themselves out they've realized what they want to grow amongst again with the seven of pentacles amongst all the other pentacles it's this one pentacle where you've got all these roots coming from and that is the one that they're going to nurture and this is the choice that they are going to make they've realized something about you and them and they're going to choose that and after that they want a brand new start in love with you it's a brand new cycle it's a brand new commitment the ace of cups is a start of something loving something wonderful and again with this little plant under here it's reminding me of this plant here they're wanting to grow it they're wanting because the the water from the cup is dripping down onto this plant and it's making me feel they want to nurture they want to grow and nurture this this connection with you again to have a new beginning again with you to have a new start with you that is going to lead or for them that they want commitment and again, the Empress is about let us grow something, let's nurture something. It might be at the moment, underneath here, it might be hidden, it might not be fully out in the open, but I am going to, with this woman, uh, this Empress holding her tummy, I want to nurture it. I'm looking forward to, to it coming out into the open for us to be out in the open and have a new start together. That is for sure what's going on. I feel like this, this month is going to be a new beginning for many of you with something from the past or with someone from the past. And it's going to feel like a miracle. It's going to feel like you found each other again, uh, for sure. It's going to be that something that you thought was dead and buried is going to come back out for you. It's going to come around again, for sure. So we've got all of the water signs of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have got, um, this is Scorpio again. We have got, um, pi um, sorry, we've got Gemini energy and we've got um, Pisces energy and Taurus again. So there's a lot of Taurus here, so some definitely recognising your beauty uh, and your worth. Right, so let's get out some, I've got these little, I use these in pile number one actually. Let's just see what these are, they're like little sayings, little affirmations. Let's see what we've got. Let's take out two and see what, see what it says. Okay, so we've got this one, and this one says, seize the day and live your life. Right, so maybe this person is thinking, I'm just going to go for it. With the eight of wands coming up twice, it's a very much a go for it kind of energy. And then we have work hard in silence and let success be your noise. Now, funnily enough, this came out in number um, one. So maybe at the moment the situation is silent, um, or yeah, that's why it might seem like a miracle or it feels like nothing's happening but then they're going to work towards it they're just going to something's just going to happen they're going to connect with you they're going to send a message um, and that and it's going to it's going to lead to success in this connection but let's move that up there and then let's have actually let's put it here I don't want to cover up that beautiful queen of pentacles there okay let's get out some message cards shall we let's see what we've got for pile number two in the person what's going to be happening for pile two in the person or what's going to be happening for pile number two i should say in their love life in july engagement my god your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment what did i say with the hierophant here there is some commitment going on wedding now this is come on Somebody is getting married in July. Some of you are getting married in July. Some of you are getting engaged in, come up in July. Some There's some big commitment. Commitment, Hierophant, in July. Something is happening. Something big is happening in July for you. I'm just going to leave it there because I feel like it's a level up. Even if it's not an actual engagement or a wedding, it's a level up to the next level. It's a more committed situation for you in July, pile number two. So there it is. There's your reading. I hope you've liked it. If you have, please do consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell so you never ever miss an upload or you know straight away when I've uploaded. And I will see you in the next reading. Bye for now. 
Hey, pile number three, welcome. Welcome to your reading. It's so lovely to have you here joining me for this pick a card reading. And today we're doing, aren't we? Um, you know, what's going to be happening for you in your love life in July? We're doing July 2024 predictions. And you chose to come into the reading under the beautiful lotus flower here, which is gorgeous actually. Uh, so I'm going to put that there. Plus the beautiful, again, the beautiful rose quartz. So I'm going to put your rose quartz there so we can see it. Um, and I've also pre-shuffled a couple of oracle cards, so let's take a look at those. So we've got Mercury, card number 15. Mercury. Okay, and we have got the Ophala room with the Hermit Crab. Ophala. Alright, uh, beautiful. Well, let's put those there. So just to remind you, it is a general reading, so please just take the messages that feel right. If they don't feel right, then they might be for somebody else that's watching. If, for whatever reason, um, the whole reading feels a little bit off, I hope that doesn't happen, but if it does, you might be attracted to some of the other piles. You might want to just take a look at those. Um, but if uh, you feel like this really reading didn't really do it for you, uh, I hope that isn't the case, as I said. But if it is, then you might want to look at my other, all the other readings I've got on my channel. I've got tons of them. They're in playlists. You can't really... You know, it's very organised. And I've just started doing some shorts. So if you feel like you want to listen to some short readings that are not love-centred, uh, then you might want to look at some of my shorts as well. So let us begin for pile number two or three. Very exciting. What is going to be happening for them in their love life in July, please? What's going to happen for pile number three in their love life in July, please? Let me have that one seems to want to come out there so let's have a look and see what this one is so this one is the king of pentacles okay i feel like um there's going to be some communication here in july mercury is all about communication so maybe you're going to receive some sort of message or something in um in july uh the king of pentacles is all about stability and its security and it comes right under your thala room which is around um inheritance often inheriting a home but it reminds me of stability and security because this is this crab with within their home which is often we associate at home with stability security feeling safe so i feel like maybe for many of you it's about um being stable being more secure in your love life in july maybe through good communication or through honest communication with the um the lotus flower here now the lotus flower is a beautiful beautiful flower that has kind of emerged from something difficult so maybe in july you are going to emerge into something wonderful much more stable much more secure you might have gone through the middle a bit with a connection or with a person but through good communication you're going to emerge into something stable and solid but let's have a look and see let's get something else out let's get some other cards before we say too much so what is going on for, um, I mean, the lotus flower is also, a, you know, a, a Buddhist symbol of kind of rebirth, isn't it? Um, life and birth and that kind of thing. So let's see what that's about. So what is going to be going on for pile number three in their love life? In, um, I mean, for many of you, you might be getting an admirer. Um, you know, somebody's going to communicate with you, tell you that they like you. And offer something solid and stable with you here. Yeah? What is going on for pile number three in a love life in July, please? Oh, the end of a tough cycle approaches. Again, what I was saying, I think I've said that before, you know, like something is emerging. With the um, lotus, it's pushed up through the mud, it's gone through difficulties, you know, a tough cycle, and it's now emerging as something, you know, you're coming out of the, the other side, if you like into something uh, better and it could be through better communication because funny enough i mean i was as i thought about this 15 is obviously adds up to six and sixes is all about harmony restored peace um uh you know calm contentment cooperation that kind of thing so maybe you're coming into something and a much a much more stable situation in july in your connections or in your relationship or with somebody or maybe you've just gone through a period of being single and it's been a tough time and now you're getting communication or you're getting an advance you know somebody's advancing towards you with the king of pentacles here offering you something good uh let's get out the tarot shall we 
what is happening for pile number three in their love life in July. What's going on for them in July 2024? What's going on for pile number three? Uh, let's see. So we have the Hermit. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Two of Swords. And we have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, 100%. For many of you in this pile, you are coming out of a period of a difficult period with the Two of Swords. A period where you maybe couldn't see your way in your love life. You felt stuck or it didn't feel... Um, you, yeah, you couldn't see a way forward. So maybe you were single, maybe you are on your own, maybe you were unhappy, maybe the connection you were in was confusing or something like that. Um, but I feel like with a Hermit card, many of you might have been on your own. It might have been in separation. You might be in separation um, from somebody. And in that time, you've gone through a lot of healing. But something is happening in July. Um, and it could be through communication uh, because we've got the Ace of Swords, which is... A new, you've, got the, you've got two new beginnings here. You've got the Ace of Swords and you've got the Ace of Cups. So something is starting up in July for you. That is, um, I feel like it's going to be some kind of communication or some sort of connection which has got really good communication in it. So it might be somebody around you that you get on well with, that you communicate well with, that you kind of share, you know, like intellectually, you really get along. Um, but it's also... Uh, started through communication so you um, get a message or you receive something somebody's connecting with you um, because they want to begin something with you that is uh, a new connection so for many of you it could be for many of you in this part that you are single or you're on your own or you're in separation from someone and there's going to be a new start in something's going to emerge something uh, you're ending a tough cycle and you're going into something um, that's going to be wonderful, some new beginning, which is going to be heart-based, heart-centred. And it's going to get rid of any confusion or, or doubts or fears because you are being acknowledged. So somebody is recognising you, somebody is acknowledging you, somebody is seeing you as somebody that they want to be with, somebody is uh, wanting to connect with you uh, and to build something stable with you. And it comes out of you being on a period uh, on your own, being in a period of on your own, where you might have had to be in your, on your own for a long time, had to, you know, heal in some way, and you might have wanted that for that time, but now July heralds the start of you connecting with someone, um, and it could be that, that someone is an air sign as well, so they don't have to be, but they could be an air sign of um, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, because we've got Mercury here. Uh, which is reminding me of communication and all the air signs which that represents um, yeah so that's kind of what I see here I see a new start in love for you and maybe that new start is also based in truth in honesty in um, compatibility both mental uh, emotional and physical so maybe in this new start this new beginning it's kind of balanced in the sense that it's, it's love but it's also somebody you can get on with that you have good communication with that you uh you know it's not just all about the physical um so i feel like this new connection or this new thing is going to be based on you as much as it is on an attraction and a sense of liking you it's also going to be based on the fact that you can talk with the mercury card that you can talk that you can communicate and that you um are both looking for something deeper something deeper certainly yeah so we have virgo energy we have libra aquarius and gemini we have leo energy um and we have also uh, cancer scorpio and pisces with all of the uh, with the ace here the ace of cups so let's get out another oracle card on what is going to happen for you in july part number three what is going to be happening for part number three in July in their love life, please? What's going to be happening in their love life in July for part number three? Embracing, yeah. So, oh gosh, right under end of a tough cycle. So it's about um, embracing something. It's about maybe embracing something new. Um, you know, 
also maybe about embrace it's because in the hermit card you know you might have spent a lot of time on your own like i say you might have needed that time on your own but it's very much a time of, of sort of shutting off external energies really and just kind of like like I say being alone whereas embracing is reminding me you know because it's this um bird is within floodplains where water comes and it goes and it comes and it goes so it's about embracing all the emotional stuff that you get in a new connection so it's embracing all the feelings that you're going to have with this new connection it's about um letting your barriers down letting your guard down and um just being being open to all the new feelings that you're going to get in this in this month of july in that connection let us get out also one of these cards of what is happening for pile number three in their love life in july what's happening for them so i feel like july you're opening up you're opening yourself up to a new something new you know you're not as you're not as maybe wanting to spend so much time on your own you're opening to, to, to being in a connection look a new day yeah, exactly a new day it's like a new day a new dawn a new way of being I feel like you are opening yourself up to something new for yourself, really. But let's get some tarot here. So what's going on for pile number uh, three in their love life in July? What is going on for them in July in their love life? So we have death. Now, funny enough, the 13 was um, obviously the main sim main card for pile number two so if you felt draw sign number two you might want to look at that um the five of pentacles the seven of wands what's happening for pile number three in their love life in july and the wheel of fortune and we've got the magician. Yeah, you're definitely manifesting new love. I feel like for many of you, you are manifesting a new connection or new love. Um, you may have felt very much out in the cold. Um, you may have felt like your love life was a little bit uh, stagnant or lacking in some way. Um, like there wasn't much growth in it. There wasn't much hope for it. Um, you might have felt that it was quite challenging or has been quite challenging. But I feel like in July, with the death card here, you um, have got the opportunity in July to either stay stuck, stay on your own, stay stuck, stay um, sh shut off from the possibility of a new relationship, or the chance to move into something um, wonderful here. And I feel like because this death figure is pointing their sword more towards this door, which is opening, something emerging, emerging, then you are going to go into the light. You're going to move into the light and it's going to be a transformation for you. So just like the lotus, you are going to emerge from the darkness. So for many of you, I feel like you might have been on your own um, for a long time or you might have been in separation or something like that. And you're choosing to get rid of, to move away from the sense of lack, to move away from the sense of lack and into something where it's much more fortunate for you, where you are going to, um, the Wheel of Fortune is about, you know, going into something where there's luck, there's destiny, it's fate. So I feel like it's now is the right time. It's fated for you, it's destined for you, for you to move into a more positive time within your love life. And I feel like it is a new relationship starting for you. The Magician is a manifestation. You are manifesting yourself because it is the right time now. So maybe it wasn't the right time for you before. Uh, but you want you it's the right time now for you to manifest something to embrace something new something committed um definitely uh with with the magician card here you want to manifest love let's get a few more cards on that let's have these ones again so what you're gonna let's have we've got a little bit more detail on this king of pentacles what is this relationship please that part number three is manifesting can we have a little bit more detail on that oh my goodness the ten of pentacles wow the empress this is going to be oh my god look look what you're manifesting in july someone is definitely coming towards you here the knight of cups that is definitely a romantic person coming towards you which you've kind of created yourself in a way we've got the knight of pentacles here yeah you've somehow it's because your energy is i think your energy is changing in july because you've spent a lot of time on your own you've, you've healed 
actually done the work, you have um, maybe healed some of your shadow or incorporated some of your shadow or learned to accept some of your shadow aspects in relationships and you have you yourself have risen and emerged and now you are ready and because that energy within you has changed you're not as defensive or you don't feel the need to protect yourself so much you're much more open it is going to all happen for you in july you are going to have somebody who is very 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 romantic coming towards you with the knight of cups and that could be the knight of cups always does remind me of pisces energy but it doesn't have to be pisces but they're gonna with the mercury i think i said at the beginning there's going to be some kind of message some kind of offer some kind of taking you out on a date some kind of um i like you so something where they let you know and move towards you because they want to grow something with you again with this empress card it might you might not see it at the minute you might not see it in the minute because she's got she's holding her tummy but we can't actually see the baby at the moment it's still inside isn't it but it's something that is in the works it's something that is at the moment being is growing and developing so some sometime in july you're going to get this offer and it's going to lead to the king of pentacles this was the king of pentacles right so the king of pentacles this is the king of pentacles within the ten of pentacles the ten of pentacles is stability it goes with your thala rune as well you are going to get something that is going to be stable and solid where you can create a stable and solid situation with this person and this person if you don't already have a family i feel like this person will want to have a family with you because you've got the, the, the empress who is always more or less always depicted as pregnant but it comes right next to this card which is all about um family happiness you've got another card about home and inheritance so it's so it's like a relationship that's going to go the distance it's a long-term relationship it's not a flash in the pan it's not like a quick fling it feels like it's the start of something solid and stable and secure it's going to be something where you are going to get on with each other um on all levels which is often what you have in a relationship which goes the distance you know like there's attraction there's chemistry but there's also deep love and um where you both have a lot of things in common so that you can create a life together so that's what i feel this connection that you're going to have in july is going to offer you and it's your time it's destined it's fated to happen now for you in july for sure that communication that message that's someone coming forwards so in july someone is coming towards you something is being offered to you so don't ignore that because that is the, that's that, that's going to be the start of something amazing so let's get out some um message cards oh let's get out some of these because i didn't get i've got these out for pile number one and two they're like little affirmations or little um sayings and i'm going to get them out and i'm going to see what your two are so let's have a look here see what that one is so you have got um let happiness flow through you amazing let happiness flow through you yeah i feel like it's going to be a little really happy time when you meet this person when they come towards you believe great things can happen today and take action amazing so let's get some other message cards for power number three what's going to happen for them in july in their love life please for power number three what's going to happen finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now what i feel like is that that shows because we have a lot of um earth energy here we have a lot of stability so i feel like this connection that you're going to be getting into is going to be very financially very comfortable for you because that is what the ten of pentacles is and that is the king of pentacles so somebody who's very solvent uh where you can have a good solid financially secure relationship new love look exactly a new person has stirred your romantic feelings there's new love in this situation what else do we have car number three in the month of july please what do we have we have engagement now funnily enough engagement did come up in pile number two as well this is your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and that's what i mean like it might not obviously you might not get engaged or some of you might get engaged in july but but i feel like this connection is gonna is gonna be a stable one it's gonna immediately there's gonna be an awareness that this can be stable and solid and secure it's going to have that feel about it it's not like a flash in the pan it's not a fling but anyway part number three that's when you really hope you've liked it if you have do consider subscribing hitting that notification bell so you never miss an upload of mine but otherwise i'll see you very soon in the next reading bye for now